Welcome back. It is Wednesday. You know what that means. It's time for Olivia's Wednesday. Today, Harry and Yanni are in the kitchen making grilled lobster with shrimp and octopus pomodoro over pasta. What's going on, everybody? How are you? I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. Gained at least two pounds. But just like my dad's favorite beetle, George Harrison, said in 71, all things must pass. And it's time to move on now. Dad, what do we got going today? We got a delicious seafood dish. There's so many moving parts. Start, take us away, Dad. You're making, what are you making? Like you're making a bechamel sauce in the bottom. Yeah, so I got my garlic butter in. I'm melting it. You can see how fast that got hot. But over here, I had my milk. I had it on. See where it rose up the pot? I wanted everybody to see how it's called scalded milk. As soon as the milk starts to rise, you turn the fire off and let it sit there. Let's make this uh, roux. Here we go. I got my flour up high. I'm going to put uh, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. I'm going to mix that in to make my roux. I got my garlic butter and my flour. It's a real easy recipe. Just like that. And the trick. We want to get this uh, nutmeg that comes mix? in the recipe. Yeah, you take that. Yes, sir. You want to mix while you do that? Yeah, sure. nutmeg yeah, in there? So All the right. nutmeg, you want to put it in fresh, and you want to put the nutmeg fairly in the beginning when you're making bechamel. If you're making bechamel at home for any dish, get that nutmeg in there early. You want to get that beautiful flavor, the fragrance extracted. The heat's going to just uh, get that beautiful natural oils in the nutmeg out. You know what I mean? You can smell it already hitting the high point. 100%. Smell, yeah. And I'll say that you got a lot of nutmeg in there. You say a lot is a important lot for nutmeg. this recipe. It brings out some beautiful flavors, I think. Next, we're going to put just a little bit of uh, sea salt, not much. Put a little bit of white pepper, about a half a teaspoon. Oh, I'm yeah. using a tablespoon, but I'm only putting a half a teaspoon. And you can check out the recipe on Fox 43 if I, if I lose you there. A little bit of black pepper. It smells amazing. Mm, yes, it does. You ain't kidding. Yep, so the roux is already uh, mixed up. We already can tell that the flour is cooked out. The roux is made. So we're going to add our scalded milk. Mm, so again. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So the roux and the scalded milk are just gonna start getting thicker and thicker. And then I'm gonna add the egg yolks. I'm gonna toss in these beautiful pasticcio noodles. We get them from Greece, imported, they're delicious. Look how nice and thick that's getting already. I think we could add a little bit more scalded milk because we're gonna pick up some of that starch from the, from the noodles and it's gonna make it a nice tight base. And we're gonna use that for the base for this beautiful dish. You can see here, I have some that's already baked off like a casserole. Found a product. And just cut it, and pile the seafood on top, and you're gonna like it. Now right. let me give that back to you. So dad made an awesome pasticcio noodle, bechamel blend. He, Boom. he really killed it on this one. Now, he did a lot of chat in there. I gotta move quick. My mom's gonna start yelling at me. I can already hear it, okay? So, in my pan, I got Olivia's famous garlic butter. Boom, going in. I got, uh, what are these things called again, Dad? Anchovies? anchovies. That's right. Anchovies. I got six anchovies going in here. Hey, you want to put five? Put five. You want to do seven? Why not? Go crazy, okay? So I got some anchovies. I got some Olivia's Famous Garlic Butter. I got some capers going in here. If you know anything about capers, a lot of flavor there. Very potent, so you don't need too many in there. I got just like probably half a tablespoon in there. In my pan, okay? Mixing this around for a second. Next up, I got some fresh chopped shallots going in my pan as well. Boom, boom, boom. I got some assorted Greek olives going in my pan as well, okay? A little bit of green, a little bit of purple, a little bit of black all up in there. Then I got some fresh fennel as well. A lot of flavor going in this dish, a lot of Greekness going in this dish too, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay? too much Greekness. No, you can't, especially if Chef Harry's showing you what to do. That's one thing I've learned over the years dealing with him. How about this? TV chef, here we go, okay? Yes, 100%, that's cooking around. Now, I wanna give this stuff a second here to cook around. Okay, I gave it a second. Let's go one next here, okay? Over here, I got some fresh heirloom tomatoes. I got some reds, I got some yellows. They're going in my dish, boom, boom, boom. My green mix today, I got some fresh spinach, fresh basil, and some fresh kale. Wow, wow, wow. Very healthy, a lot of delicious, beautiful, healthy flavors going in this pan. Again to here, okay, let's That's see how long good. I can do this. Okay, beautiful. Now, next going in my dish. Seafood time, seafood right? Time, okay. Seafood time. All right. So we got some fresh shrimp going in here, and I told you we were going Greek. We got some octopus going in my dish as well. Okay, good, that's good. going in my pan. And we're gonna put that lobster in there too. We got it about half, three quarters of the way. Char grill. I love that. Good. All the flavors from that lobster. Now that Dad Harry was cooking on his char grill over here, they're now gonna soak into my pan, you which I wine? love. Okay. Time to do glaze. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Here we go. Mm, look at that. And. Opa. Opa. I love it. We've had bigger flames in our day, but nonetheless, so much flavor going on here, guys. 
I'm gonna put this white wine over here for me to drink for later. Right, okay. Guys, let's talk about this stock. You got another secret weapon over here. You want to tell them what's in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Go fresh ahead. seafood yeah. in there. Onions. So what do you got in there? Yeah, you got, mm. your, you got your basic mirepoix, you got your carrot, celery, onion, but other than that, you got mm. some mussels in there, you got some clams in there, you got some soft shell crab. You also got, what do we got there? Some more octopus. Yeah, that guy was swimming a little bit ago. Greek wheat. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. A lot of fresh seafood in this dish. That stock has so much flavor in it, it's going to bring this thing to life. Now, I got my stock in. Last thing, we got the Olivia's bruschetta mix. I want to put that in my dish as well, okay? A lot of, you know, olive oil, fresh garlic, That's some more beautiful. basil, some beautiful. more Parmesan cheese. Beautiful. Okay? Toss that dill. around. Yes, sir. Last mm. thing I'm going to put in here is some fresh dill. I think Mama Mia right Chef there in the game. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> He's getting excited for this one. Man, Who can blame him? Who can blame him? Okay? So he has his pistachio right, noodle. Cheese. I got this. Yes, sir. Romano. Mmm. Mm -mm. Asiago. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Boom. Mm. Don't stop. Oh, okay, go ahead. Stop. Toss it. Toss it in the buttered pan. Bake it in the oven. A lot of moving minutes. parts. A lot of moving parts. Lucky for you, we already played it one up. We already played it one up, so you can see what you got mm, to deal mm, with. Mm. And bada boom, bada bang. You know what I'm I saying there? There's that shrimp. There's that octopus. There's that delicious sauce we made. There's Harry's pasticcio noodle cheese combination he was talking about. That lobster from early. I mean, this is a delicious, healthy dish. Welcome to December. Thanks for being here. We love you. You've been watching the best father and son cooking show on the planet. Chef Mike, Chef Josh, thanks for doing it. We love you. And as always... Mmm. Harry and Yanni, they do it again. Looks fantastic, of course. Hey, you can get Olivia's recipes on our website, fox43.com, or you can just head over, let them do it for you. Olivia's, it's in uh, Gettysburg. For reservations, you can call the number on your screen. It's right there. I'll read it to you. 717-359-9357. But we're not done yet. Coming up later this hour, Adrian will be behind the bar making a nutcracker old-fashioned.